Hi, this is Jen Nishiyuchi from LittleWrensNest.com. I'm a professional reborn doll artist making tutorial videos for other reborn doll artists. In this video, I want to talk all about mohair. Mohair comes from Angora goats. It doesn't come from any other animal. Angora goats produce a hair that is, is uh, smooth and silky and shiny. Um, another fiber that I see come up pretty often um, that is available is wool. Um, wool is not really conducive to what we need as reborn artists. Wool fiber is much more fuzzy and tacky. While it's still soft and pretty, it's not going to be shiny and silky like, like our customers kind of desire. So I really think that Angora goats are the way to go. When you're looking into buying mohair, there's two different ways you can buy it. You can buy it where it's already processed and ready to go right out of the bag, or you can buy it raw and process it yourself. That's the process that I want to talk to you about today. I'm not going to go into detail about how to process it, but um, I do want to tell you what you need to buy to get to the point of processing it. Um, so people have asked me before where I think the best mohair comes from and my answer is always the same. I think the best mohair comes from happy and healthy goats. Um, that just makes the most sense in my mind and it's, um, it's what I've seen on experience. Um, a place that I like is called Phoenix Farm. It's a farm in South Carolina and they have holistic and organic ways uh, that they raise all their animals and produce all of their products. They don't use pesticides or steroids or hormones or any unnecessary antibiotics. They just have, you know, closest to mother nature as they can get. They're just a happy, wholesome farm and uh, I really like to support them because I like their attitude and I think that that attitude goes into their business. Um, you should definitely check them out. Check them out online and on their Facebook and they have an Etsy too. If you are going to shop from them, let me tell you what you need to get. Don't get wool and mohair rovings. That is going to be a blended uh, fiber and you really don't want that wool and mohair blend. You want straight mohair, I would suggest getting their mohair locks. And um, the lock is gonna, you're gonna be able to find the cut end of the hair when you buy the locks from them. Um, and let me show you what it looks like. This is what the mohair is gonna look like when you get it from them. It doesn't look like much now, but I promise after it's processed correctly, uh, it's gonna look gorgeous. The way you process mohair is different than the way you process human hair. Um, to dye human hair, you need harsh chemicals, but to dye mohair, it's a much gentler process, and if you do it the way you're supposed to, the hair is going to stay shiny and soft, um, not dull. Um, after it's processed, it'll look something like this. Just shiny, soft and silky, fine mohair. And that's that's what you want. So I hope this has been helpful. And um, stay tuned for more tutorials from me. Thanks a lot. Bye.